Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. So this is going to be a pick a card reading and it's in regards to love. So any question that you have in regards to love, um, it could be romantic, it could be platonic. Um, so I've already meditated and I've infused the cards with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. So take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler, so I open myself up to spirit. So whatever messages need to come through for whoever out there um, needs to hear the messages, then the messages will come through. So you have group one, group two, and group three. This video was actually a subscriber's request. Um, trying to get it out for you guys for this, for this video. Um, please excuse me, my allergies are killing me, so um, I may sound different than I normally sound. Um, if you need to, go ahead and pause the video so you can really uh, tune into the energy of either the stone um, or the actual group. Think about your question, um, and when you're ready, then go ahead and unpause it. I will list the timestamps below. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Also, um, all of my contact information is listed below if you would like a personal reading. Um, all right, thank you so much for the good karma donations. I truly appreciate it. If you would like to donate to my channel, all of the information is listed below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so group number one so this is a pick a card love reading yes or no so you should already have your question in mind so starting out with take action so whenever i see you take action like it's like spirit is saying you need to get your butt in gear um for those of you that pick group one i'm sure that you're aware of what this means you're aware of what you need to take action on um it's it's almost like I feel like it's some type of inspired action um, for some of you you know what this action is for some of you you will get some type of um, like some type of push or some type of indication or some type of nudge from your higher self or from your um, spirit guides all right so we have financial and material changes so this is a five so fives are about changes um depending on the five energy and how it affects you um it could it's about change um sometimes five come with conflict you know this could be positive negative or neutral so this is about some type of change in your financial or material um world which could affect um, you know, your home life, your love life, and things of that nature. And potentially, if you are partnered, it, it could be your partner's um, finances as well. So we're starting off with the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Six of Cups. So you guys have a six and a six, so... I would suggest Googling the angel number 66. There'll be addis additional messages for you. So starting off, you know, with the nine of pentacles energy, this is, this is a very independent energy. You know, this is full of life and abundance. And, you know, depending on your situation, um, this may be your goal you know you may be working towards this goal of feeling secure feeling independent um some of you you may be wanting some type of change in your love life to where you either um, want to feel more independent or you you know your goal is to have more security in your relationship for some of you you already feel like that but i feel like a lot of you guys you know this is this is your goal this is what you're manifesting you know with take action here you have the six of swords so this could be a change of thought change of attitude you know things are going to be getting better the energy is going to go from choppy waters to smoother waters um 
I feel like you guys are really focused on your comfort. So whatever your comforts are, right? You know, everybody has a different level of comfort, especially when it comes to love, you know, but you have a solid plan here. You know, you're, you're really gonna move into this energy of the queen of pinnacles. Pinnacles are extremely heavy. So it's something that's going to stand the test of time. You see the peacock in the back. You know, it's just a very regal energy. It's full of grace, full of integrity. Um, it's a very abundant energy. So if there are any little bumps in the road or any type of changes when it comes to finances, I feel like, you know, you are going to be resourceful. For some of you out there that this isn't in regards to any type of change to your finances, maybe this is a change to your relationship in the stability or the foundation of it. There's some type of change, some type of outside um, effect that's going to affect it. I still feel like you're going to be very resourceful and you're going to find a way um, to tackle it, to get ahead of it. So, so whatever actions that you need to take, you know, make sure you get your ducks in a row. Make sure you get organized. Make sure you do what you have to do so you can be in this energy of, you know, feeling secure, whether it's financially or in your relationship. It goes hand in hand, right? Because, you know, even if your relationship is great, if there's something lacking in your structure, your stability, whether it's financial, whether it's fulfillment, it's going to affect other aspects of your life. Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Pentacles? So with the Nine of Pentacles, it looks like, you know, you're looking, you're you're ready. You have you have the Three of Wands right here. The Three of Wands is take action. You know, this is you know, you've planted the seeds, you are looking to move forward, you are looking to expand, you know, um, but this, this is an action oriented card. Six of swords, you have the world card. So you're moving towards a successful completion. So if this is a bump in the road for you guys or just some type of change or some type of alteration or something um, that you have to adjust to, I feel that you're going to take quick action and you're going to move forward successfully. Six of Cups, you have the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, with this, if there is something, you know, changing with your finances, whether it's you or your partner, um, or something in your love life you know spirit just said rainy day so i feel like some of you guys are really budgeting you know maybe with the situation with COVID, you've gotten better with how you handle your finances your energy when it comes to money you know so when it comes to your comfort you know you're really um you're really being efficient you're really being resourceful so if if this is something that comes up and you have something unexpected that you have to, you know, pay, um, you're, you're going to have it. I feel like you've, you've been doing the right things to ensure that you have the comfort. Your comfort is protected. Let me just say it like that. The queen of pentacles. Yeah. So balance, you know, this queen of pentacles, this plan of long-term stability is going to bring more balance into your life, your love life. Um, you know, this is core for you. When you when you are in alignment, when you are in balance, then it just the energy just flows. So whatever comes up with this change, I really feel that you guys are going to take action. You're going to be resourceful. You know, it this could be you and your partner. You know, tackling the situation. Um, if you're single, this could be you just, you know, being in this independent energy as well. For some of you that have recently um, ended a relationship, you know, you could be, you know, wanting to move move forward in a very independent way. 
spirit just said reinvent yourself you know reinvent yourself reinvent the will um, after a certain period of having to come up with a new um, routine with um, not being with that person anymore so this is a very beautiful energy um, I definitely would say that this is a yes to your answer um, so you guys take action listen to your intuition and you know your intuition will never steer you wrong so spirit do you have any additional messages you have thought here so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be going within you're really going to be going within about this and you know i, I feel like you're not going to waste any time you're going to know what you need to take action on and it'll look different in um in each of your lives so very beautiful um please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating when you guys comment below, you know, it just gives me confirmation that um, that I am able to deliver spirits messages, you know, as clear as possible. That is my ultimate goal. So we're going to go ahead and get started with group number two. All right, so pick a card, love reading, yes or no. So you should have your question ready. All right, so wow, Spirit is starting off with no. No is not always a bad thing. Let's see how this uh, pans out. Transformation. So I feel like, you know, whether it, when it comes to love, you guys are going through some type of transformation. You know, seeing this combination, I really feel like you guys may be working on yourself internally which is beautiful when you work on yourself you know you fill up your cup and when your cup is full then you're able to you know support and love others with a full cup and the first card that comes up is the knight of cups so the knight of cups brings in some type of change you know this could be some type of heartfelt offer you know for some of you you know, you really could be focused on your security when it comes to your finances. I know that this is love, you know, but you, I feel like you may be focused on your abundance, regardless of how that looks, whether it's material, um, but you're really focused on your abundance. Some type of offer is coming in, some type of change, some type of emotional change is coming in um, that's going to affect your abundance. There's also messages coming in and I feel that it's going to affect your home life, your stability. So you're going through some type of transformation. You know, you could be going through some type of change when it comes to your money, when it comes to your, your household. Some of you could be moving house. Um, it's just this period of, it's this period of just like evolving, I guess. So Spirit, can you clarify the Knight of Cups? Yeah, so some type of new spark, some type of new inspiration is coming in, some type of new beginning. Um, you know, for some of you, this could be a cup of love. It could be like a, a knight in shining armor or a prince charming or a princess. It doesn't have to just be a male. But it could be come with someone coming in and offering you, you know, hey, let's go to coffee or hey, let's go on a date. You know, this could be some type of this is some type of a genuine offer, some type of new beginning that is full of passion. Ten of Pentacles. So you guys are going to be moving forward, you know, with the chariot. This is victory. This is success moving forward in some type of abundance, some type of abundant energy. For some of you guys, this is actual um, money. This is unexpected or expected inheritance. Um, you know, maybe some type of taxes, maybe some type of settlement refund comes in that you weren't expecting. You're going to be moving forward with that. With the page of wands, you have the magician. So this 
this is you manifesting these these messages coming in and with the four of wands when it comes to your home life when it comes to the foundation of your stability you have the moon here so with the moon you know i feel like everything may not be clear right now when it comes to either the foundation of a relationship um, the foundation of an offer or just the foundation of your actual life right now and because you're going through this transformation energy of this change and i feel like it's more like your inner world things may not be clear so i'm not saying like if if you are single or there's a new offer coming in from a potential mate i'm not saying that this is a no i'm just saying that you know because you're going through this inner transformation and things are unclear i feel that you're focusing on the things that you feel comfortable with that you have clarity on um you may be spirit is saying you know where does this person fit in my life um should i move forward you know spirit is saying you don't have to answer those questions right now you know you can focus on this you know this these beautiful blessings coming in and, and moving forward into success so i feel like with group number two even though this is a no it's not a bad thing i feel that the bottom of the deck you have the four of swords so you're really going to be reflecting you're going to be going within you're going to be recharging your batteries you know let this transformation period you know clear up let this clarity come in and then in regards to love, you know, I feel that, you know, you will be moving into happiness and joy and bliss. You will be starting something new with the full card here. Um, you know, so it'll look a little bit different for everyone. But this is this group too really speaks about working on your inner world, controlling the things that you can control and, you know, not to say you're not going to go on this date not to say you're not going to take this genuine offer um it's just it's a lot going on and i feel that you know anything that you're lacking any type of clarity on that you're going to just kind of make put that decision on the back out on the back burner for a different day if that makes sense so very beautiful reading guys please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating let me get you a fortune teller card so spirit what additional messages do you have look at that hope beautiful so you know spirit just said too good to be true i don't know when this person comes in i feel that i feel that they're going to be very shiny they're going to be very shiny to you and if you are single um you know spirit is saying don't lose hope you know um take things slow and get to know that person you know even if there is a, a there's a bit of uncertainty here or things don't seem clear you know make sure that you know even though you are going through a transformation make sure you lead with faith and make sure you're being optimistic um because you have hope here you know don't don't lose hope when it comes to love or if you're in a relationship you know you could have you know your partner um trying to spark things back up and you may be focusing on other things in your life or your inner world um just handle that person with compassion you know especially if they're trying you know um just be tactful handle it with compassion you know spirit is showing me somebody showing someone off you know make sure that there's a balance in your relationships whether this is platonic or um, a romantic relationship so please comment below let me know how these messages are resonating i love reading each and every one of your comments Okay, so let's see what we have for the next group. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish off with group number three. So this is a pick a card, love reading, yes or no. 
So we're starting off with Asher Angels. You know, Asher Angels, you know, make sure, you know, if you feel like you're at a point where you're at a crossroads or you're not sure what to do or if you need some type of clarity, you know, ask your angels, ask them for a sign. Hey, if I'm on the right path or if I'm with the right person, you know, show me a, and I always say, ask for a specific sign, ask for a white feather, ask for, you know, a red bird or a penny or whatever resonates with you, you know, so you can get that clarification. So you have rest and rejuvenation. You guys are really going within, you're reflecting, you're checking in with your higher self. You're really tapping in with your intuition. You know, you're really partaking in self-care. This is a very beautiful energy. Look at this card with all this green, all of this um, growth and fertility and just, it, it's just a very abundant energy. And you know, this person in this card is really just connecting with their higher self. So very beautiful. So we have the Eight of Swords. Next you have the King of Wands. This could be your energy or the person um, that you're thinking about. This is a fire sign, so Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, or they could have fire in their chart. Um, whether this is you or the other person, you know, the King of Wands is very passionate, very focused, very determined um energy so right next to that is the five of cups this is an energy of feeling a little bit um, of sadness or sorrow something that probably happened in the past you know this is my crying over spilt milk you know looking at the situation as the glass half empty versus it half full you know but i feel that you're gonna kind of go back and forth you're gonna feel a little bit trapped you know there's going to be a little bit of sadness you're going to really go within and you're going to move forward with action and you're going to um you're going to have some type of expansion on regarding something so let's get some clarifying cards so spirit can you clarify the eight of swords So I suggest that you guys Google the angel number 888 because you have an 8 and an 8 here. So I feel like more messages are going to come up. So you have some messages back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, if they're not messages, this could be the energy. Things just moving very, very fast. So the page of pentacles these are the very beginning of messages so for some of you you know this could be like a new new relationship um, new interaction something new and even if you're coupled um, this is some type of new opportunity coming in so with the king of wands here whether this is you or the other person i feel like this king of wands he's very support he or she is very supportive of you if, if they are the other person um, when it comes to you know your 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 goals and your manifestations I feel like you guys are on the same page because you have the ten of Pentacles here you know he or she really um, supports and wants the same things that you want as far as security that happy home life so what about this five of cups? Okay, so the king of cups. So everybody's in a different situation. If if this isn't you, the king of wands, you know, you could be dealing with two different people. If you are single or in a relationship, um, you have the king of wands and you have the king of cups. Or this could be your energy or the other person's energy. So there is some type of sadness, some type of resentment about, you know, something that, you know, didn't really work out the way that you expected it to with the King of Cups. King of Cups is very, um, typically pretty compassionate, very in control of their emotions.
Wow. So the Five of Cups, Five of Cups, and the um, King of Cups. There's just there's just a lot of despair. There's just a lot of sadness about something in the past. Some type of emotional loss. Some type of sudden change. Some type something suddenly happened um, that caused the sorrow and this lack. It, it could have affected you know your finances it could affect it, the stability of your of your love life spirit can you clarify the king of wands and the so like i said whether this is you or the other person i'm feeling like this is the other person for a lot of you guys you you do have somebody that's supporting you you know that supports you and loves you and you know the sun is happiness and joy um i feel like they're either you or them are focused on the bigger picture you're focused on what you want to bring in and either you or them <clears throat> is focused on lack is focused on the past focus on the things that didn't work out <clears throat> So remember, you know, you can only control what you can control, right? You are responsible for your thoughts, your actions, right? So I don't know, are, are, you, are you in this energy right here? If you are in this energy of sadness and things didn't work out in the past, you know, spirit is saying, you know, tap into your power, you know, really go within. If you're dealing with somebody that is in this energy, um, you know, you may have to let them go through their own transformation. You know, you can't, you know, Spirit just said you can't fix everybody. You know, I think that eventually they'll get on, on, the, on the ship and, you know, the ships will come in and hopefully they're there to board the ship. And if not, I mean, if this is you, you're, you're focused on moving forward which i feel like a lot of you you just have big plans you have big goals for your life and if somebody's gonna sit around and cry all day and i i don't mean to be insensitive but just you know stay in that energy of lack you know things happen you have to you know bounce back and you know they're not really they're not really taking the situation very well. And, you know, if you're being very optimistic and they're being the opposite um, on the energy spectrum, it could be very exhausting. You have the, the nine of wands here. You're not giving up. You know, the nine of wands, you are staying persistent and you are in for the fight. So spirit, can you clarify the three of wands? So the Three of Wands is about expansion, taking action, moving forward. The Hierophant, this is some type of commitment. You know, this could be, you know, the commitment between you and another person, you and a large institution, like a job. Expansion, again. So, you know, for this group number three, I would just say it's no or not the right time. Um, keep focusing on what you want to bring into your life. Try to support the person or you know your love interest as much as possible um, without emptying too much of your cup. Right? Don't take away from you know your energy of being optimistic because you know it looks like you may be moving forward and looking at some type of commitment. You know, maybe you're going to focus on work since they're going through whatever they're going through. Um, and some of you guys, you know, you may be moving forward in general and taking action in regards to this commitment. So let me get you a fortune teller card. So Spirit, do you have any additional messages? <clears throat> All right. So for some of you guys, this is in regards to a friendship. Okay, so this card is about loyalty. It doesn't have to be a friend, but, you know, the, with the dog here and faith, this is like man's best friend, loyalty. Um, 
you know, if this is you, this is you questioning your faith, this is you questioning their loyalty, you know, really go within and reflect, ask your angels for assistance and guidance if this is you. <clears throat> if this is you, um, you are very loyal, you are very dedicated, you are very supportive, right? So this was a very, very interesting read. Um, please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Um, I enjoy reading each and every one of your comments. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Um, hope you guys take care. Be safe. And until next time. All right. Allergy attack. Now I'm back. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So in regards to love, whether it's romantic or platonic, the energy around love, the energy I'm seeing is there is an energy with the Eight of Swords about you, you know, you being in your head, you feeling trapped, you feeling, you know, weighed down, stressed. Um, this may not be the reality of the situation. You know, you may be putting more um, worry and doubt and stress um, in your mind then that's really necessary so with this eight of swords energy um, my suggestion is ask your angels for clarity because i really feel that clarity and confirmation is really going to help you you know with this energy <clears throat> of being in your head right you know, Eight of Swords, you may feel like you don't have any options. You may feel stuck. So, you know, don't don't live in that energy for too long. And I, I don't think you are because you have rest and rejuvenation um, here. 